Hi, I am Dr. Guru Shankar, Chairman of uh, 1000 Bedded Meenakshi Mission Hospital in Madurai and a 250 Bedded uh, Meenakshi Hospital in Tanjavur. Well, Tamil Nadu has been uh, progressing uh, in uh, healthcare uh, scenarios in most of the uh, issues. But when you see the healthcare situation in the state, you know, previously our challenges were uh, fighting mostly on communicable diseases. Now we are more towards non communicable diseases. And as we all know that India is the diabetic capital of the world, we have a huge inflow of uh, you know, cardiac patients in this country as well as uh, you know, patients with a lot of renal failure. And these cases and these uh, influx of, uh, of uh, patients need to be addressed in rural areas. In Tamil Nadu, though big cities have good hospitals and tertiary care centers, there are still a lot has to be done when we focus on smaller towns like Trinalveli or Salem or even Tanjavur or Tirchi. In smaller tier 2 and tier 3 cities don't have enough hospitals in the state. And those are the areas where I think we have to focus. And just like any other state in uh, India, most of the healthcare services provided by uh, private healthcare players. And the role of government is much lesser. Yeah, so in Tamil Nadu, as, you say, uh, as we have discussed, you know, in, in smaller towns, the need for hospitals is huge. And uh, there's a huge demand supply gap in smaller towns in the state. But the advantage is we have a good inflow of uh, uh, doctors. There are a lot of medical colleges in the state. And there are a lot of good colleges which produces a large number of uh, you know, medical doctors who can uh, come and address these issues. So I think there's a big challenge in front of us and there's a big opportunity also. Well, the vision of this hospital is to say that no man is too poor to afford first grade medical treatment. We have been having this vision in our mind and we have been traveling for the last 30 years. And you know, personally I feel that in India and in Tamil Nadu, the healthcare services which goes for a rich person and a poor person is different. And the healthcare services which is available for someone living in a rural area and an urban area is different. So to bridge this gap as much as possible, we have been striving for the last 30 years. So in our hospital, whether a person is affordable or not affordable, we are able to treat them. And there's a lot of uh, cross subsidy which we do where an affordable patient's treatment, the surplus which we make, will cater to the people who are not affordable. And in that way, we are able to balance this uh, work in this hospital. And we are the largest private hospital in Madurai. And similarly, we are the largest private hospital in Tanjavur, where we have uh, more than 45 departments addressing to uh, you know, different uh, specialties, surgical and medical specialties. And we have always been pioneer bringing uh, new technologies to this region, new specialties to this region, and we have always been a fore forerunner in it. Meenachi Mission, the core strength for us is we have brought new equipments and new innovation each time we come into, with the, uh, those technologies come into the market. And all our consultants are full-time consultants. So we don't have a practice where a consultant visit the hospital and then go out and has his own private practice. Because our model is simple. If a doctor wants to start his own hospital and have his own practice, the freedom which he gets in a, in a center like that is what we give, it to the, give to our doctors. So that incentivizes them. And we create a great working environment for the doctors as well as other staffs in the hospital. So the culture of this hospital itself is a big strength for us. We have a huge telemedicine department and we have an uh, IT department also. And in telemedicine, we are able to provide you know, rural healthcare service to more than 15 centers around uh, Madurai, around the main hospital. And uh, the OP consultations is done through the main hospital. We also have a van which has direct connectivity to uh, the satellite, which can be taken to any, in any place in India for that matter. And through the van, we are able to do telemedicine services. And the main hospital, the doctor from here can uh, examine the patient through this system. The hospital has two sides. One is like any private hospital, we charge patients and we treat them. There is another side which is fully charitable. So there are few specialties within the hospital where whether a person is able to pay or not, we will treat the patient free of cost. So one of it is the cleft lip and cleft palate where we have done more than 10,000 uh, surgeries absolutely free of cost for the patient. 
and uh, it's through this mile train program that has been done. Similarly, we have uh, we are the only hospital in this region which has a pediatric oncology unit where kids with cancer are treated absolutely at free of cost and 80% uh, of kids with cancer can be saved if proper treatment is given to them and those facilities are avail available at this hospital. Similarly, we are the only hospital with a hospice center here. So these are the areas where we do free treatment for unaffordable people. But there are also other areas where we charge people and we uh, you know, make surplus money out of it which cross subsidizes us for doing this work. Well, the common concept is when affordability is addressed and when the cost is reduced, quality is compromised. But it is not so. In most of the cases, I think we can have a balance between these two and make sure that we can have good treatment given to the patient at a cost which can be affordable by him. Because if a cost is not affordable by the patient, no matter how great the treatment is, it is not going to work because no one is going to pay for it. So we have had that balance so far and we have different ways in which we cut cost in our expenditures and that is passed on to the patient. We treat a large number of patients so that is also an advantage for the hospital because that gives us the flexibility in negotiating most of our products where we have a huge consumption and because of that we are able to reduce the price. So we launched a campaign called Aram Sayidu Palagu. In English it means do good and make it as a habit. So that is the nearest uh, you know, translation which we can uh, uh, tell. So what the reason why we did it is because see right now the, the trust between the society, between the uh, public and the hospitals and doctors has been deteriorating. Most people think doctors and hospitals are money making uh, institution. This has to be changed because most hospitals in India are not like that. We actually run a social business where we help people, we save people's life and of course we make money out of it. But at the same time, the sole existence of a hospital is not making money. It is definitely in helping people and in making a difference in their life. So the greatness of being a doctor, the greatness of running a hospital has to be explained to people at this stage. So that was one reason. And the second one was we need to create inspiring stories for the next generation, for the next probably medical students who come out of a college have to see these stories and benchmark, benchmark them and say, okay, if I am a doctor, I should be like this person. If I am a doctor, I should do these kind of work. That benchmark will lead to an inspirational situation for the next generation who, are, who want to be as doctors. Plus, there were another uh, incident which happened in our uh, hospital. You know, our hospital is in a small town called Madurai. And near Madurai, probably in uh, 45 minutes drive from here, there is another uh, small town called uh, Dindukal. And there was a couple called Rama and her husband. They tried to have a child for a long time and finally after several years, they had a child. But the child had a small problem. The child was with a cleft lip. It is, as we all know, it's a small deformity. It can be corrected with a simple surgery. But unfortunately, the couple has to visit several hospitals. They went to eight hospitals to treat this uh, condition. Either the hospital had the facility to treat it, but the couple didn't have the finances to pay for it. Or the hospital was doing free surgeries, but it didn't have the facility to treat this particular issue. So, out of frustration and after visiting several hospitals, the couple lost hope and they were at their home. And the mother, somehow she came to know about our hospital and she spoke to her husband saying that why don't we go and visit the Meenakshi Mission Hospital. I heard that they are doing free surgeries for kids with cleft lip and cleft palate. So, the husband said that uh, I am not uh, interested to come to this hospital because it is also a private hospital. So I am sure they are going to charge heftily for this and I won't be able to pay for it. Hence the husband stayed back at home and the mother came to our hospital here. The mother came here and the uh, kid was taken to the operation theatre. The surgery was successful. The doctor took the kid and gave back to the patient, patient's mother. When the mother got the child, she was still crying. She was not happy with the 
receiving her child. And the doctor was confused. Like we were like, what happened? Your your child is okay. He is fine now. Now why are you upset? Now the dad, her husband, has written down a note in his home stating that I am unable to treat my own child and I am unfit to help my own child from this problem. What's the point of me living? And he has written a suicide note and he killed himself. Now the mother was upset because though the child is saved, the child has uh, received a good treatment. The father of the child is no more. Now this was a shocking incident for us because this couple who are living just one hour from Madurai, they were not aware of the free surgeries which we do in our hospital. So that's when we decided it's not enough if we do good work, we should tell people that we do good work because people only then will know that being a doctor and running a hospital is actually a social business and it actually helps the society and people who are in need of it can avail it. So for these three reasons, one, people who are in need of charitable work, they have to come to our hospital and they have to know that these facilities are free for them. Second, the upcoming medical students should have an inspirational stories about the medical fraternity so that they get inspired and they work and they aspire to be doctors with great values. And third one is for the society in general to understand that being a doctor or running a hospital is not just for money, it is a social business where we, where we do what the government has to do and most of the government's work is taken by the private players and we do that work in helping the society and in making these reforms. So just for these uh, uh, three main reasons, we, we took five short films which were real life stories about people. About We took five patient stories and we made short films with it. And that's being uh, spread uh, in YouTube and in Facebook as well as in uh, movie theatres we are playing it around.